Drama was averted at the sitting of the Pan-African Parliament in Midrand after the president of the institution, Rajan Kodadang, was forced to schedule a, at, uh, a debate on a motion condemning the massacre of 60 Palestinians by Israeli soldiers. And Kodadang told the parliamentarians that he could not allow the motion to go ahead as it had to be debated by the African Union first. Motlenyane Dipoko reports. The much anticipated debate of the controversial financial report by Nkodo Dang diverted as Middle East politics following the Gaza massacre took center stage. And when they went to celebrate, they killed 59. This is the place of freedom. This is Africa. Africa of the revolution. Africa who do not accept to see a child shot free in the head by a plane, by an F-16. On a point of order, on a point of order. Can we exhaust the report and come back to this motion? Because it's an important motion which cannot be discussed as a by the way. It needs to be a substantive motion where we'll even take a decision as Pan-African Parliament. Yes. The debate on the budget was allowed to proceed. After the report was accepted, the massacre of 59 Palestinians by the Israel forces in Gaza was raised once again. The motion is, uh, should be included in the agenda three days before the presentation of the motion unless uh, the uh, chair of uh, the meeting uh, finds it in the uh, public interest to include this uh, in the agenda uh, without uh, uh, observing the three days limit. Now uh, our session is uh, adjourned. But Malema could not take this lightly. So you can't say in terms of the rules we should have put these motions three days ago. How, would even, how are we going to know that Israel is going to kill Palestinians? It's happening now. We are sitting now. We have to condemn it. And I'm saying to you, subject it to some form of a process. After hagglings, an agreement reached to debate the motion on Wednesday. Muntlingani Dipoko, SABC News, Midrand.